When you begin investing, it's essential to understand compound interest. It has a significant impact on your investments, whether you know it or not. We will simplify compound interest and show you how it can accelerate the growth of your money. For example, if you save 10,000 shillings and the interest or dividend rate is 10%, you will gain an extra 1,000 shillings at the end of the period. This is known as simple interest, merely a percentage of your original investment. Now let's delve into compound interest. Compound interest means not only earning interest on your initial investment, but also on the interest you've already earned. For example, if you invest the same 10,000 shillings at the 10% interest rate, and after getting the 1,000 shillings, reinvesting it into the same investment, the next period, you will earn interest both on your initial investment of 10,000 shillings and also on the 1,000 shillings that you reinvested. And this process continues every period. In Kenya, interest or dividend gains typically vary from 3% in, for example, a bank deposit all the way to 16% in treasury bonds and above in assets like stocks or real estate. The percentage you earn depends on your investment choice and the risk you're willing to take on. So with an example of a 13% interest rate, let's take two scenarios. In the first scenario, you will save 3,000 shillings every month into an investment earning you an average of 13% interest or dividend rate. You put this money into this investment for 20 years. But every year, instead of reinvesting the interest you earn, you'll spend it or use it to pay your bills. At the end of the 20 years, saving 3,000 shillings every month at 13%, your investment will have yielded about 813,000 shillings. That is 720,000 in savings and 93,600 in interest. In the second scenario, with the exact same investment, instead of using your interest, you'll reinvest it back into the account. At the end of the period, you will have earned the same 720,000 shillings in savings but 2.3 million shillings in interest. In total, your investment will have yielded about 3 million shillings at the end of the period. This is because your interest was earning interest and therefore grew exponentially over the period. Comparing the 813,000 result to the 3 million shilling result from the same investment clearly shows how powerful understanding and taking advantage of compound interest can be. Once you grasp this concept of compound interest, it will motivate you to reinvest any earnings you make from an investment in order to grow your money exponentially. To begin investing in stocks, bonds or derivatives, reach out to us through the contacts on the screen.